divine people, I got a message, channel message. My Nana just came through and told me to give it. Okay, so we got full moon, right? How do we take away from, you know, thinking about, wondering about, worrying about, or even trying to tap into the karmic energy that's at play during full moons, right? Let me give you an instance that will help you see it clearly. Okay? So a lot of people be worried about what people don't want other people to have, right? Or what people can take from people. But I've seen firsthand how spirit works. And I, myself, would fear spirit, okay? Um, just for this terms, this meaning, this reason, because spirit is everywhere. We can't see spirit. So, time when I had said, yeah, my ancestors don't play. Okay, so here's red. So there was a time, like, normally I would go down to my grandmother's house or whatever back in the day. Um, when she was alive, she was staying in Maryland. And we go down there every year for the 4th or whatever. You know, holiday trip. And well, this year I didn't go. Well, not this year, but the, the year I'm talking about, I didn't go. And my Nana told me to give a message to my niece. And um, it was, you know, when I would go there because I was like the in tap, you know, the tapped one, the one tapped in, I should say. I would always, you know, sleep in my Nana's room. And um, that was kind of like, you know, just a thing. I would sleep in my Nana's room and I felt comfortable there, right? Okay. So I guess that year I didn't go. And my Nana told me <laughs> to tell my niece to tell someone, um, you know, my Nana didn't want nobody in her bed, point blank period. And I guess whatever happened and that wasn't listened to. So my Nana got upset. And so what ended up happening is, is, you know, whoever this person is, they was probably, you know, behind the scenes talking a lot of trash about me. I know they was. I know this to be true. Um, but at the same time, I wasn't even like worried about this person or caring too much about what was going on with this person or what was going on. Like I said, I just know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a medium. I'm, I'm psychic. So I knew that there was some, you know, weird stuff going on with this person. But I also know that my Nana said, don't worry about it. We got you. So what ended up happening is this. Um, those rules wasn't followed. And um, the thing that's funny about it is, was that they didn't tell me that those rules weren't followed. They told me that they was. But my Nana told me, you hear the birds, right? That they wasn't. So how did this play out for the people that didn't listen? Well, the person who drove down there with their own vehicle, what is that, about eight, nine hour drive? Um, their vehicle ended up stopping, meaning their vehicle died. And then what ended up happening is, is my uncle had to come out of his pocket to pay for the repairs of the vehicle that had to be fixed because people didn't listen to the guidance that was given. You see, this is how spirit works. So guys, when you got spirit guides and I tell you trust them, they handle things you can't see, this is how it happens. Because, you know, we're called to be something. We're called to speak. And if I work for spirit, then the messages spirit gives are the messages spirit wants to be respected. Um, and when people don't respect certain things that spirit has in place, spirit has a way of <sighs> mirroring back to you um, different things. So in terms of, you know, people blocking my finances, people, you know, within my family, not listening to me, people within my family, you know, doing all the things that they've done to me, you know, my spirit guides come through. I'm not doing nothing wrong. I'm just being who I am and doing what I'm called to do. And I always see things like this when my spirit guides are saying, okay, enough is enough. So this was like just a channeling that I had that I wanted to get out there because it's like, I really got, I really want you guys to understand that we don't need to be worried about the actions of other people. We don't need to be worried about what's going to happen to other people when we are being called to follow a guidance. Our guidance is our own, right? And people make choices. That's what spirit is trying to show us and everyone else when it comes to us is that there are choices to be made and we are to be in alignment with our highest selves. So this is how spirit will come in and show us things and allow us to know and allow us to connect the dots. And things like this happen to us too, because we don't always follow what spirit says because we have egos and we're human and we think we know it better sometimes. Well, spirit will co always come in and give us that ego check as I see a white butterfly and let us know. No, you see this butterfly coming over here? No, it's not your way. It's the divine's way. So as above, so below. This is what I want you guys to know with this moons and anyone who is planning on doing anything negative with these moons. You got to see how spirit works. Maybe that's why they had me do this. So that's what I got.